everyone. Uh, I believe this is Tuesday, I think. And I'm almost there. This is the first video that I have done downstairs in my new space. And it's, it's almost there. Um, and I'm, I'm real happy about that. We got everything from upstairs, downstairs today. There is absolutely nothing else online platform or craft related upstairs in our house. It is all down here now. Uh, I do have a few things left to, to go in the, uh, uh, the little totes. And, uh, but for the most part, I, I pretty much got it organized and set up. And uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be doing another video. Uh, I have missed doing the YouTube videos. And by the way, my name's Beth. If you've never been here before, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If y'all are one of my regular viewers or subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I know, I think it's been five days since I've done a video. I threw a little short in there for, for y'all to be able to watch showing what was going on here. Just so y'all would know that I'm still trying really hard. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, I'll show you where I've got the, the resin thing set up out in the garage. And I want to say thank you to the subscriber that suggested that I not sell that, um, I don't know what you call it, work area, work bench type. You'll, you'll see it in a minute. Uh, I want to thank her so much for suggesting that I use that for my resin station because it is working out wonderfully. And I, I don't think I would have ever thought about it. I was going to sell it. And I don't think I would have ever thought about it if it hadn't been for her. And and she, I should know her name. And I feel so bad that I don't know her name. I don't know if she's ever told me her real name, to be quite honest with you. She does have a YouTube channel. And it's... Um, it's Twisted Tree Art. Oh, I hope I got that right. And if I didn't, I am so very sorry. But I'm hoping I got it right. Okay. Uh, this may be a little lengthy video because I got a Timu haul. And I got a, a Timu haul the other day. No. <laughs> I got a Timu bag the other day. And I didn't do it um, because of everything going on. And... Uh, I, I'm pulling out one of the things that I got. And it may seem a little silly to y'all, but I got really excited about this. I'd never seen it on there before. And it's T90. It is. But you know what that is? That's an umbrella mold. That makes little tiny umbrellas with little hook thing. That to me was just adorable. I could imagine just having a whole bunch of like little umbrellas hanging down everywhere. <laughs> and, and the crystal colors, you know, just, or wind chimes you could do, or you could make earrings out of these, or you, th there's just so many possibilities with this little bitty tiny mold. That, that was one of the things that I got. And the, the last one that I didn't show y'all, um, but I wanted to mention that and I also got a bunch of holographic glitter in the last one. Um, and I will, I will point that out when I pull them out to use them. Uh, I will let you know. And before this video is over with, I am going to take you all the way around and let you see the setup. But I am setting up my actual work area. Now eventually, right over there is going to be a table where I've got my ring light and a stand-up tripod. And that's where I'm going to be 
doing my YouTube videos, unless I'm out in the garage doing the resin pour, and then we'll be out there. Um, and I hope the lighting is okay. Um, we will find out together, won't we? But we're going to get started on this thing, and, and I, I hope I didn't get sidetracked and not say thank you, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I hope that you find something that is useful uh, on this video for you. And I hope you find it enjoyable. And if you do, please hit that like button. The last time I checked, we were up to 806 subscribers. And I am getting so excited. I feel so blessed. I do. Uh, if it wasn't for each and every one of you, I wouldn't have a channel. So I want to say thank you because it is all of you and me together that makes this channel. Um, I can't do it without you. And and I just want to let you know my hair is sticking up and it's driving me bonkers. Uh, <laughs> I just want y'all to know um, that I, I, I do know that without you I don't have a channel and you're very, very much appreciated. So with that, we're going to get started on this Timu. And I think most of this is craft stuff. Oh, I've got my shirt on. Yes, it's still a little baggy. Uh, Ashley took it up some, um, but it, it's still a little baggy. But I want to show you. You see how it came? You see that? It came open. Look at that. It's like it was taped back up. Look, I'm hoping I'm not missing anything, but that that's ridiculous. It was in my mailbox. And that's the way it came. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out together if, if everything is there or not. I had one other thing that I was missing. And that one that I did, the Timu haul. And, and I didn't realize it until I went back and looked. And it was the blueberry mold. I didn't get the molds for the blueberry. It, it was missing. Uh, they did refund me, but they did not refund me uh, instantly. Uh, it took them like uh, 48 hours. So, I don't know, but that's the good thing about YouTube. I, I do have it documented, so if, if they have any doubt, all they have to do is watch my YouTube. And, okay, this is the first item. I think this is the, the last one I got to go on the wall and we're going to open it because I want to see if it's the one I'm thinking of. And I'm hoping this is like the uh, that's stuck. Why is oh, okay. It's because I'm not doing it right. Yeah, okay. This is the one with the seaweed and the, the fish and stuff. Whew, that's pretty. I don't have a trash can in here yet, though. That is one thing I don't have that I am going to have to get. I've got one in the garage, but that means every time I need to throw something away, I have to go in the garage to do it. Okay. Can you see that? Is that upside down? This is a long one. Ooh, I like this one. I'm going to show it to you sideways so you can see. Ooh, there's a jellyfish and that's like seaweed, coral. It's like a little rock, starfish. And then more seaweed and that's a clam. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I like this and it's pretty big, okay? Um... Is it just two of the same? Oh, no. Oh, this has got something. What does it say? Magic sea life. Oh, I'm going to put that right there. Or maybe somewhere else. I don't know. But, oh, I like that. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I like that jellyfish. Oh, see, that's cool. Oh, and look at the big bubbles. Yes, I put all that stuff on the... You'll see it, though, when, when I show you. Okay, I think that's the last thing that I've ordered. Besides the turtle, 
that I ordered that goes on the wall is the canvas that's got the song I Can Only Imagine uh, on it, the lyrics to it. That hasn't come in yet. But other than that, I think I've gotten everything that I have bought for this room. I'm gonna throw this on the floor and throw it away when I get done. Okay, that's the first item. Oh, okay, these are cute. Yes, I got these for me. Of course, it does go along with the beachy thing, okay? I love this room too, by the way. I love walking in here. I love the openness. Uh, I, I like the fact that everything has its own place. I know where everything is, but it doesn't feel cluttered. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see those, but your little beachy themed flip flop earrings. Those are adorable. And it's on both sides. And those were 68 cents. Oh wait, let me change my ear in. Let, let me put them in my ear. <laughs> they, they, they match the, the theme going down here. See, I've got my shirt on. So let me. Can you see? I'm going to zoom this in if it works. I hope I don't screw it up. I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. Okay, we're going to zoom out because you don't need a close-up of my face. <laughs> okay. And I'll just set those over there so I don't lose them. Anyway, I don't like these. Maybe they'll look okay in resin, but they look really cheap. But in resin, things change, and I know that. And I didn't pay much. I think I paid like 98 cents for that. Little hearts and bows. and But they look sort of cheap to me. But that's okay. That, that's okay. They might look okay in resin. Oh, those are adorable. I got those to go in resin too. Little ice cream cones. Now those are too cute. Okay. What is this big thing? Oh. Yes, I bought one of these. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the way it is. Look how the, bo the box is, cr look at that. Oh, I hope this thing's not broke. Look at the way, I mean, the box is tore. How in the world? How did that happen inside? Okay, let's hope and, let's, let's, let's hope and, <laughs> let's hope when I open it, it is not broke. I'm amazed that some of this stuff makes it here in one piece, to be quite honest with you. I hope it's not cracked. It does not appear to be cracked. It does not need to be cracked anywhere since it's holding water. Sorry guys, yeah, I decided to go ahead and try to put this thing together. Uh, which I don't know. Wow, they don't tell you how to put it together. Okay guys, I got this. 
I'm assuming that goes in there, but what's the little screw for? I don't get it. That's not... Where does this thing go? I'm trying to look at the... I don't. Okay. That goes like that. I'm going to assume oh, that can't be the way that goes. I think I'm missing a part. There's nothing to hold that part in. And there's a screw. Okay, guys. I'm gonna have to send this back because there is no... That's the instructions. But it doesn't tell you how to put all these little pieces together. You know, this is the little pieces I got. It doesn't tell you how to put all that together. Into this. And into that. Okay, it shows... Now, you know, that, okay, it shows that on there. But what keeps it in there? It shows this in there. But what keeps it in there? That's not. Okay, maybe I've got it backwards. Maybe I've got it upside down. Which is a possibility, okay? I've been known to do everything back backwards, so. Oh, that's flimsy. What is that? That doesn't look like that either. It's like part of the spring should go down. I don't see what purpose this. Oh, that's the drain button. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It must attach. <laughs> Something attaches. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to put this up and figure it out later.
Okay, okay, I got it figured out. You need a, a little tiny, wow, well, a little bitty tiny screwdriver. Which I do have some with. Okay, I'm gonna put this up. I'm taking way too much time, but I think I've got it figured out. And it's not broke. So, this box is dilapidated though. So, I'm going to set this over here for right now. Sorry about that, guys. I was excited about getting that, though. And, of course, there's a mold. Oh. There's two molds in here. This is the one that's supposed to look like a conch shell, but it's a tray. Can you all see that? Can you see the texture? You see the, the texture in there? Do you see the lines? No, you can see them better that way. See that? Oh, I'm excited about pouring that one. And that's a pretty big one. I'm gonna set that over there. I've got a pile of molds over here of things I wanna get done really fast. Oh, wow, that's wild. These markers were out of the box. Boy, this was not packed good. See, all the markers were out of the box. And these don't look like the, the markers that I bought. I bought the metallic markers. These do not look like the ones in the picture. which I have no issue sending this stuff back. If they're not gonna send me what I order, I don't want it. And Timu's getting worse about this. Hmm. Yeah, this is straight up cheap China stuff right here. This is not the one that I ordered. And I paid six dollars and forty-seven cents for these. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, at least they're all here. But this is not. That is not what I ordered. Let's see. Let's see what they look like. Mm-mm. That's supposed to be the gold. Do you see that? I don't like that. That's like the dollar store gold pins. Let's try something else. Let's try the silver. I think these are going to go back. These even look cheapy. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, that's crazy. You see the color cap, right? That's the ink that came out of it. So the color caps aren't even matching. Okay. So, let's try that one. Oh, that's the gold. Yeah, we tried that already. Let's try this one. Maybe that's silver. Yeah, that's silver. And you can barely see it. I'm not happy with these. We're gonna try the blue. That's a darker blue. And these don't look really metallic to me either. That's the cat. And that's the color. I'm 
assuming this is pink. Oh no, that's purple. Okay, here's a purple. Now that's a lighter purple. That's crazy. Maybe that's a pink. That's a purplish pink. Yeah, I wouldn't waste your money on these. Okay, that looks blue. But that looks green. So I don't know. That looks beige. Okay, here's an orange. I mean, orange should be orange, right? Oh, wow, guys. That's the orange. Uh-uh. Then we have a gray. Then of course we have a white that's not gonna show up on that. Here's not even a black. Oh, the white does show up. Well, you probably can't see it, but I can see it. Yeah, can you see? Probably not. Okay. So, yeah, this, this was a bust right here. For the amount of money, no. This is definitely not worth it. And, and I will be sending these back. I, I don't have any desire to pay $6 and something for this. They're, they're not worth it. This is something that you could maybe pay $3 for at the Dollar Tree. But this is definitely not a product that you want to buy. Not for the cost. And that's what it looks like. I would not recommend those. This is some of the, it's called laser nail powder, but it's under the holographic glitter. So we will see. And I got a bunch of different colors the last time on this. So we will see when we go to use them. I have more than two modes. Okay, I like this. This is a bigger clamshell. And uh, I've got a clamshell, but it's not this big. See, that's that's a bigger clamshell, and you see the can you see the design in there? Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, that's the bigger, and and it's deeper, and it's bigger than the one that I I have. I've got the smaller one. Oh, these are Christmas. And these are smaller than what I thought they were. They're way too small for ornaments. Uh, so if y'all see these and you think, oh, ornaments. No. They're way too small for ornaments. Let me turn around that way. See, Angel. I mean, they're cute, but they're way too tiny for ornaments.
these I got two packages or three packages of. I should have another one. Yeah. And these were called Mermaid Tail. Okay, you can't so they okay, let me take them out. And they're multicolored ones. I thought these would be cool to use with resin. And I actually got three packs of those. And I think I paid a dollar twelve cents a pack. And there's three of them in each pack. And there's the three that I got. They, they're the, all the same thing, the multicolor ones. And then I got turquoise stones that I'm gonna use for fillers and something. I paid a dollar two cents for that. And I believe this is considered the, yeah, 100 gram bag. And then, these are crystals, real natural crystal, crystals, 100 grams. And they're sort of purpley. They almost look like amethyst. Uh, you can't see them real good. Let me let me pour a few out. But that's that's what they're 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 all slightly a different color and they're different sizes. And I love natural stone. And I like the fact that it would give the resin piece a heavier weight. And so I got, I think, one bag of that. Um, I'm going to dump the rest of this out in case I've got duplicates. That's pretty. Okay. Yeah, I did. I got two bags of these stones right here. And then I got these. These are, and I got two of these. And all this stuff I plan on using in resin. And those are like little rectangle diamond shape. Can you see those? See that one right there? And I believe that's the multicolor one. Then I got this one. This is the 10 gram white. And uh, this is the snowflake. Uh, but it's got little flowers and snowflakes and, oh, I don't know. There's big of different stuff in here. But it's really, really pretty. And you're not seeing the true. Let me see if I can dump some of this into my hand without making a big mess. And they're, they're sort of iridescent, and there's like sequins and little polymer clay looking.
And I got one bag of that. This is the same thing, only in the blue. And then this, this is really pretty. This just says white. Let me open the bag and show you inside the bag. Ooh, yeah. Can you see inside the bag? That sure shows you. Yeah, that's really pretty. And then I got, these are I'm sort of disappointed in, but I can use them in frogs and stuff, I guess. The eyeballs. I think that's real high. For the amount that I got and for the size. I was thinking these were a little bit bigger. But, and it doesn't really say anything. And then, of course, I got another mold. I love the freshie mold. I don't use them for freshies. I didn't even know what freshies were until y'all, some of y'all told me what, what it was. Um, but I love their molds. You don't have to make them this big. I'm going to make these into magnets. It's the ball jar. I just think that's adorable. And I think I'm gonna put light in one. <laughs> like, you know, you caught fireflies and, <laughs> yeah, I think that would be cute. Can you see that? And I think they're like four and a half inches tall. So it would be a big magnet, but I would like that in my refrigerator. And then these are sort of funky. And I sure like funky, you know, different, unusual. And so I got them. They're letters. And I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. But they're almost like they're stitched letter letters. Like there's a stitching. Can you see that inside? And they're not uh, striped on the outside. But on the inside, it's like they're stitched. And I thought that would be cool. Because it's different. And that was it for the Chimu haul. That, that was everything. And so, I'm going to stop this for a minute. Uh, and get it off the stand. And I will be right back, and I'm going to walk you around the room, and I'm going to take you out there, and I'm going to show you the resin station. So, uh, it'll be just a second, and, and you'll see me again. Cool. Okay, this is where I'm going to be pouring my resin. That is what it looks like. I have my little... Uh, extra light clamped on so I can use that there's a light up here also it's up underneath here that I can also turn on I have my stir sticks my lighters my cups stuff like that that I need I have my paper towels hanging up I have my baby wipes I have to bring alcohol in here that's the only thing I don't have I have my resin there I have my resin there that's my mixer, that's my respirator, and my goggles and my apron. They're all in here. And then inside the drawers, my heat gun, which will plug in right there. And then I have extra cups. I have my gloves. I have my pouring things. I have my extra filters for my respirator. Um, so this works out really, really well. Uh, I have my leveling board right here. 
And so this is where I'm going to be pouring. And a big shout out to Twisted Tree Art for letting me know because this is going to work out perfectly. All right. I am now going to take you. We're, we're walking into the main room. And I don't know if y'all have seen this or not. I still, I'm making my own, so I still don't have any of those um, on the wall. But this is what it looks like right now. And I'm just gonna walk. Those are pieces I still, I've got finished, but I still have to do something with them. They're not totally done. That's my storage for resin. Stuff that I'm using with resin. That that right along there, it's all molds. It's nothing but molds on that. Those two bottom right there. Um, most of those are fillers. Uh, mica powders. Uh, and I still have plenty of them empty. That's an alcohol ink I did several years ago. At least 10 years ago. That is done on wax paper, guys. And that is, it's not been sealed. That is nothing but alcohol inks. And that's things that I still have to do something to. They're not totally finished. That's my cutting board. That's more stuff i really need to clean those out that just came straight up from upstairs so i've not sorted through those yet that is my music maker those are my cassette tapes i have records in here and it's radio cassette record player yes i love records that is how the seat came out. I love those. Um, I wish I'd gotten more. I took the seat off and uh, put them on and then screwed the seat back on and it worked out really well. That's the tripod. So we're, when I get the table to go right here, this is where I'm going to be shooting the YouTube videos in the future. That's my little window. I love that. I know it's fake, but it just brightens it up down here for me. Um, that is my desk area. That is storage. That is pigments. That is alcohol ink. That is pigments. Of course, I had to have my little reminder. Uh, I like a daily reminder to remind myself to give thanks and praise to God. And there's the little thing that I made. This is my little vacuum. I love that thing. Um, but that's, that's what it is right now. I do have this little thing sticking up. I'm hoping that will help. Uh, film it a little bit closer when I'm working here. Of course, that's the turtle with the turtle pillow. That's another empty shelf. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. but And this is where I'm going to do all my photography. That big board right there is so I don't have to do flat lays anymore with clothing, which is wonderful. That's felt, and the, the clothes will just stick right to it unless it's polyester. And then I have to pin it up. But it's still wonderful. And of course, it's another area where I'll be taking pictures. That's my scale to weigh anything. That's my light box, which I love. But there's certain things that you can't take a picture in. And of course, that's a little one. That's a different color background. Um, and that's really good for jewelry. This is molds that I left out that I want to do. Uh, I didn't put them up because I, I wanted to get them done. So I will be doing those pretty soon. And uh, 
that's just my baggies and my poly mailers and my thank you cards are all in there. That's clothes rack that I will be using when I start uh, photographing for my online stores again to hang the clothes up, to steam them, or right before I take pictures. And I'm going to show you all this closet. This is where I've got all the clothes that I've got listed. I also got the vacuum cleaner in there right now. But yeah. That's all the stuff that I've got listed in clothing. And then, of course, this is where I've got all the plush and any toys, which I don't have a lot of toys. But, yep. And then, this is what I've done in here so far. I love the light from Timu. That works really well. That was uh, those little cubicles down there I used for crafts. I didn't need it down here, so I put it in here for extra storage to put stuff. Uh, I still have some storage left over, some room. It's not totally full. It's pretty much there, but it's not totally full. And I'm afraid if I do an inventory, which I'm going to have to do soon, I'm going to find that most of this is not on eBay. eBay is really bad about dropping items. For no reason whatsoever, but they do drop them, and I'm afraid I'm going to find out a lot of them have been dropped. This is also another storage area. This is most of my jewelry findings and stuff like that is all in here. Um, stuff that I would use for jewelry. And, of course, there's a lot of empty ones, too. Um... These are molds that I've left out that I want to do. Of course, it's the bear and the wolf and more deers. Uh, that big tray, I want to get that done too. And of course, the light switches. These are the ones that I just got that I showed. But I want to get those done too. And I think that's it. I think, oh, well, I didn't show you this. My flip-flops fell off. They look cute, but um, the double-sided tape didn't work, so I'm going to have to uh, nail them up there. Oh, I cringe because, you know, after you do all that to walls, you don't want to put a hole in the wall again, but I'm going to have to because that's the only way they'll stay in. And then I got these cute little tubs at the, the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter apiece. And I thought, oh, how cute and cheery, and I love the colors. And so uh, I've got uh, those in that, and I don't really think I have much in them. Yeah, my baby wipes are in here. I think all these are empty. And I don't know what I've got in this. I think I just threw stuff in there. Yeah, this is the, um, what do you call those things? Tassels. And these are just empty bottles. And I don't know what this stuff is. Just paper. Yeah. Just odd stuff. And of course, I am going to be hanging that on the wall. But that is it. This is what I have gotten done. It is almost there. It is just about there. I've got the long bench I'm going to paint and put right up there, which I may change my mind. But I want, I, I want it in here because I, I want a homey, um, a cozy type setting somewhere in here too. If I had a couch or a little love seat, it would go right there uh, with a couple of blankets and, and some cushy pillows. I think it would look real cute there. Uh, but I don't, so uh, I'm going to be painting that uh, bench I have outside in the garage and getting that in here that is original to the house so all righty well let me turn this around again oh i hope i don't mess this up okay i am back just to uh, say this is it for uh this video i'm hoping uh to do some resin uh tomorrow and um If, if I do, then, of course, I'll, I'll have a video. Uh, we've got this craft fair coming 
up uh, on Saturday. I've not done anything. Um, mm -mm. Um, I've been doing all this down here, and Dan went back to work. So my grandson helped me out tremendously today. Uh, I couldn't have done everything that I did if, if he hadn't have done that. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, but I keep turning around and because that light is hitting me in the eyeball. Uh, okay, I'm going to stand still right here. And um, I was talking about Max. Yes, he helped me tremendously. And I'm very thankful uh, about that. Um, but when when Dan went back to work, um, it, it just left me. And so it took me longer than when I thought it was going to. I've not done the first thing for the craft fair. I do have some inventory, which is a good thing. They are calling for rain, um, which I'm not looking forward to. And it may be where John and Ashley end up going to the craft fair and I do a yard sale. Um, it's going to be in the garage, so if it's raining, it, it won't, you know, and, <clears throat> excuse me, Max will be here, and, and he can help me with the yard sale, so that may be what happens, I don't know, um, but I don't really have time to do anything for the, the craft show, is Saturday, and it, it couldn't even cure really good, I wouldn't feel comfortable, unless it, it was a few earrings or something, um, or maybe some small little necklaces, but, um, I want to get back. I'm, I'm ready to get back to my routine. I'm ready to get back to doing YouTube videos every day. Uh, I'm definitely ready to, to get back and doing resin and um, doing new techniques and learning more about this craft because I'm a newbie. I've not been doing resin and y'all know that if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm going to make mistakes. <laughs> and um, we can all learn right along with each other, and and uh, I show you everything. I don't cut. I don't uh, hide. It. If it's a fail, then it's a fail, and you see every bit of it. Uh, I hate the way my hair does. Okay. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye, and, and I don't like my face that, that close to the camera either. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to thank you, um, each and every one of you, for watching the video. If you have not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. We are going to have another giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a gift card or if I'm going to do a box again. Um, the boxes are more personable. and It allows me to put what I want in there. And value-wise, you get more value for your money with the boxes. But because we have so many people that are is watching internationally, I may just go with uh, Amazon gift card. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I will let you know. Um, my goal is to reach 1,000 before the end of July. Now, I know. I know I'm reaching. And I know that's a high, that's, you know, that's that's a real high up there goal. <laughs> and it will be okay if I don't, if I don't reach that goal by the end of July. But that's, that's what I'm hoping for. And, you know, we can always hope. There's nothing stopping us from hoping. And if it happens, I will be ecstatic. And, of course, y'all know when we, <laughs> I don't know if I want to remind everybody of this or not but when we hit that thousand subscribers now they have to be real subscribers okay that there's you know there's bot subscribers and and they they come on and and then they last a day and then they go away now i'm talking about real true a thousand subscribers and i will wait that 48 hour period after hitting it to make sure they're not bots um but yes, uh, yeah, y'all are in store for the Yoo-Hoo Happy Dance <laughs> when when we hit that thousand subscriber mark. Uh, and it's it's not that big a deal, okay? I I know everybody's been talking about it, and and I keep bringing it up. It's 
really not that big of a deal, but I, I will do it when we hit the thousand subscribers. Um, and I think the last time I looked, we were at 806. So if you've not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. If you have subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. If you like the video, of course, you know, the thumbs up, really important for all YouTubers. If you watch anybody on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps each and every one of us. And um, if you would um, like to be notified if I have a new video out, if you hit that notification bell, YouTube will send you an, a notification to let you know that. And if you liked it well enough, and if you want to share it, hit the share button so more people can see the video. Um, I'm rocking back and forth, and I'm so sorry. I know the camera is doing that too. <laughs> My arm is getting tired. It's actually burning on my shoulder. My body is telling me that I have done things that I probably shouldn't have done today. I did take a high and before I did this video. Um, okay, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to try to shut my mouth right now, which you all know that I'm not good at, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to shut my mouth. I'm going to say thank you again, and hopefully I will see you again tomorrow. Y'all have a fantastic night. Bye-bye.